Back on Lady Tiger pregame, joined now by Coach Jeff Edwards. The Lady Tigers head into face Chapman tonight on the road. Road game to start off 2016 for you guys on Tuesday, Coach. And uh, a dangerous game. You said it going into it. And uh, you guys struggled a bit to finish some shots you normally do finish. Uh, and Concordia played well. That was, that was a good game to just get out of with a win. Yeah, we, we talked a lot about, at halftime we were talking about layups and free throws, and, and uh, you know, for the first time this year, um, we had that really dead quarter that, you know, sometimes you experience, and we need those double-digit quarters, and when we only scored three in the in the third quarter, and, and they scored 11, um, that, that flipped the flipped the switch a little bit there in the, in the score, and, and uh, you know, but it was good to, to face a little adversity, face some bigger girls, and, and uh you know, stay patient down the stretch like we did. Get the win 46-40. I've got to talk about Courtney Hamill to begin with. It kind of struck us about halfway through the fourth quarter that she was the only one who had scored a bucket from the field for you guys, and she ends up being the only one to score from the field. Now, there were free throws hit by other players, but she just had an incredible second half to finish shots she was set up on, and uh, she has a knack for just finding the right area. Uh, certainly your your team does a great job to find the open player, but 15 second-half points, uh, you needed her, and, and your senior came through. Yeah, she did, and, and there, that's twice now this year. You know, we, we needed her big time against uh, against Beloit, too, and she stepped up with a 15-point half, I believe, there, too. And, and uh, you know, what's nice about Courtney is she can be, she can be so quiet at times and all of a sudden decide, you know what, I'm going to put you on my back and let you go. And so she did a great job of <clears throat> staying low and working over those those bigger girls for for uh, for Concordia, the two Eshball sisters. And uh, the, the thing she did different in the second half that she didn't do in the first half was um, finish going through the rim, which eliminates a shot blocker. So um, we, we didn't get near as many shots blocked. And, and in response to the rest of the team, I mean, we aren't used to shooting 32 free throws. It would have been nice to hit more than 18 of them, but... <laughs> But, uh, you know, that, that just meant that we were taking it through the contact, and that was definitely one of the things that I wanted them to do against the bigger girls. A couple of uh, things I, I noticed on the stat sheet. I was talking with you a little bit before coming on the air. Uh, Sydney Calloway and Caitlin Bonneblust uh, do a tremendous job of doing things maybe others aren't even noticing they're getting done. They, they attack the boards. They defend so well. They pass the ball very well. But th- they combine for 11 steals in that ball game. And then you throw in Savannah Kip for an alley right with four steals each. I mean, your defense kept you uh, alive while Courtney took care of some things on the offensive end. Yeah, that was. we were definitely fortunate for that. I, I think all in all we had... Um, 23 or 25 steals as a team, but but uh, it's definitely started with, um, you know, our, our number one rule on, on the defensive end is ball pressure. That starts everything. And so that starts with a kid like Sid. Um, and then the other thing that we do is, is dead front of the post and force force a drive into into traffic or force a lob. And, and uh, that's one thing that uh, Kate Bonnebless is just phenomenal at. She, she can, she's so smart on the floor, can read what's coming, and, and somehow gets in there without getting into foul trouble. I think her and Sid both played almost every minute of the game and, and had to. I think I got Kate out of there for just a few seconds and then put her back in. And, and that's something that she's done. Both her and both Kate and Sid have done all year long is, is uh, give good quality minutes. You know, they, they don't turn the ball over much, and, and they definitely pour out a whole lot of effort. So um, that's, that's greatly appreciated from the coaching side. 46-40, you get the win, uh, go to 6-0 and now in the season. Big league win, as always. And now you go back into league tonight as you head on the road to face the uh, Chapman Irish. They're a little shorthanded already on the season. Uh, this is a team that has some athletes. They're just trying to maybe find their way with the changes they've had to deal with. Most definitely. Um, they, they don't have the, the Hyman post player, so they are, they are not real big. They're having to play Macy Langbart, senior, in the center of their 2-3 zone. Um, so... Uh, we'll look to see him probably on, on against our man go five out and, and just cut and slash. So we're going to have to really be on on the uh, on ball side and help side and, and be ready for those backdoor cuts. And then on defense, we know they're going to pack it in, make us shoot some shots, and, and uh, be very very physical when the ball goes in. Uh, chance to get back to another league victory always a big one, and to do it on the road, uh, coach. It was a, a quality win Tuesday. You just fight your way through it. Good luck tonight. Thank you very much. Back with more on Lady Tiger pregame in just a moment. 
Did you know that high school students who play sports are also likely to excel in academics? That shouldn't be a surprise. The values of self-motivation, determination, and hard work, especially when the going gets tough, result in success both on the court and in the classroom. I'm Brett Hupka with Clay County National Bank, and we're proud to support our student-athletes as they gain skills in both leadership and teamwork. Our best to the Tigers from Clay County National Bank, member FDIC. Every major construction project uses concrete in one form or another. From residential driveways to basements, patios and curbs, Midwest Products make great use of their ready-mix concrete. They operate four state-approved plants in Hanover, Clay Center, Lynn and Washington to meet the needs of residential, commercial or farm-related projects. Livestock slats, feed bunks, landscape rock and more are all available from Midwest Products. Give them a call for all your jobs that require ready-mix concrete. 800-371-2252. Outstanding products produce outstanding yields. That's why Valley Irrigation manufactures the most advanced center pivots the industry can offer. Our innovative technology and reliable dealers can help you save water, energy, and labor. No one else offers the same durability and dependability of a Valley machine. Reliability is too important to entrust to anyone less than the leader in precision irrigation. Contact your local Valley dealer today. See Republican Valley Irrigation or call 632 This is 100.9 FM, KCLY Clay Center. What's next in weed technology control? Aldi Seed now offers Roundup Ready 2 Extend Soybeans, the newest solution for weed control. Roundup Ready 2 Extend Soybeans is an advanced soybean treatment product that will provide tolerance to dicamba and glyphosate. If you've been battling hard to control weeds in your fields, worry no more. This product is built on the high yielding Genuity Roundup Ready 2 yield trait, and it is available today from Aldi Seed. Play Center Tiger Basketball on KCLY is brought to you in part by Farmway Co-op, Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement, Ray's Apple Market, Patterson's Health Mart Pharmacy and Radio Shack, United Bank and Trust, Hanson Ford of Play Center, and Central Valley Ag. If you're searching for a Ford truck, car, or SUV, Hanson Ford is here to serve you. They have a wide selection of both new and pre-owned vehicles. Browse their inventory to find the perfect Ford model to meet your needs. For quality service on your vehicle, Hanson Ford has you covered. They offer competitive pricing for parts and service and any maintenance your car may need, from oil changes to full tune-ups. For a great experience at a Ford dealership near you, stop by Hanson Ford in Clay Center. All those great pictures you took over the holiday deserve to be printed and shared. Digital pictures are fine to share on your phone or computer, but there's still nothing better than a printed picture you can frame and hang on the wall or flip through in your photo album. Come into Patterson's Health Mart in downtown Clay Center and use one of their three picture stations. You can choose pictures from your phone or Facebook, then edit and enlarge them. The staff will be glad to help at Patterson's Health Mart in Clay Center. Hey folks, Bill Rice from the Green Team. I want to invite you to come out and try our service department. We have a express lane for oil changes and much, much more. No waiting, 30 minutes or less, no appointment necessary. Make your vehicle road ready. Or if you need heavier work done, we've got certified technicians that can do jobs from recall work, regular maintenance, all the way to complete engine repair. So come out and see us at the Green Team, 802 West Crawford in Clay Center. Resistant weeds are an ongoing threat to crop yields and likely will be an even bigger problem next growing season. Lucky for you, Wilbur Ellis and Reed Seed Sales is ready to help you out. We offer custom applications to knock down those weeds and keep them under control. Come in and visit with any of our field experts about how to stay ahead of weeds and give your crops the early advantage in the spring. We'd be glad to go over a custom application program for you at Wilbur Ellis and Reed Seed Sales. Welcome to Chapman High School on a Friday night. Bill Casper joining you on this Friday submit for Rocky Downing. Rocky will be back with us on Tuesday night for Tiger basketball. Get set to see the Lady Tigers in action as they uh, step back into NCKL play against the Chapman Irish. Now, this is the Lady Tiger team that came off a pretty big win and not an easy one against Concordia, a pretty talented team. Lady Tigers had to fight, but they didn't get it done. They come into this game 6-0. and oh, 3 and 0 in league play. On the other side you've got Chapman. They come in at 2 and 4 and 0 and 3. However, 
They have played some uh, pretty good teams, and they played some pretty tight games, and they are led by two of the top scoring individuals in the NCKL. Macy Lankard is second in the league, averaging almost 18 points a game. Darian Weiss averages 13 and a half points a game. But beyond that, it gets a little less for Chapman. For the Lady Tigers, they're a little more balanced. They're led by Courtney Hamill. She's averaging about 11 and a half. Uh, she's followed by Allie Wright at 9, Sydney Calloway also at 9. So pretty balanced scoring from the Lady Tigers. They can hurt you in a lot of different ways, and they will try to get another league win on the road tonight in Chapman. Lady Tiger JV, very little trouble tonight. They went big by 23 over the Chapman Irish JV. Did not get a boys JV score as of yet. Again, just about seven minutes out from tip in Chapman. We'll take a break. Bring you back right after these. Holy man, woman, and child is a new year. Where did 2016 go? Of course, since it's January, it means that it's time for the Walls Tree Value Tool Sale. That's right, air compressors, cordless drills, and tools, reciprocating saws, right angle grinders, and more on sale at Walls Tree Value, along with a coupon book sale for the ladies. Stop in and see what you can buy at bargain prices at Walls Tree Value, 423 Lincoln, in beautiful downtown Clay Center, open seven days a week for you. When it comes to your mortgage, are you looking for For low low rates? rates? Uh Uh-huh. Are you looking for high High savings? savings? Yeah. United Bank and Trust has what you're looking for when it comes to refinancing. Low rates, helpful staff, and convenience. Visit their online mortgage center at www.ubankonline.com or stop by any of their locations to get on your way to saving. Banking for your way of life. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. I was putting away merchandise when in walked. The name's Smart. Maxwell Smart. It's a pleasure to meet a world-renowned spy such as yourself. How can I help you? I'm setting up my international spy headquarters, and I need a chair. Well, right now we have the best selection of office chairs from the Laurel Leather High Back Chair for $298 to the Laurel Sandwich Seat Mesh Mid-Back Chair for $156. We've got chairs for every body and every budget. This is your lucky day. Luck has nothing to do with it. It's skill, I tell you. Pure skill that led me to Central Office Service and Supply in Clay Center. Chapman, Phil Casper, along with studio engineer tonight, Bernie Fancella. We await the start of the tip for the Lady Tigers. They get set to take on the Lady Irish of Chapman in league play. Again, Chapman comes in 2-4. and four. They're 0-3 in league play. Coach Jeff Edwards, Lady Tiger team, 6-0. and They are state-ranked. They are 3-0 and uh, in league play. Again, coming off that tough win against the Concordia Panthers on Tuesday. Boys will be coming up later. That's two evenly matched teams. Play center Tiger boys did what they could against Concordia, but Concordia, a very talented team. Play center fought hard but came up short. Chapman, on the other side, won their first two games of the year. They have since lost four straight. Both teams come into this at two and four. Play center will be a little bit shorthanded tonight. A couple of uh, bugs starting to hit some of the teams. We'll see who suits up. I know a couple were questionable when uh, Rocky was able to talk with Coach Kelly Williams earlier. Here we're just about three and a half minutes out from tip. Play center Lady Tigers back on the floor getting their final warm-ups in. Lady Irish on the other end getting their warm-ups in. We'll take another timeout. Bring you back to Chapman after these. The deli department at Ray's Apple Market has something that will go with everything. Whether you're looking for a basic everyday Swiss to serve with grapes and crackers or the Cajun style turkey to create that perfect sandwich, you'll get it at Ray's Apple Market. Deli meats, cheeses, and Rock House signature salads are always fresh and delicious to serve up the way you want. Customers appreciate the variety, the quality, and the remarkable flavor of the deli selection at Ray's Apple Market. Twin Valley proudly announces our new Pulse Gigabit Internet, available now in Clay Center. Equal to 1,000 megabits per second, our new speeds can support all your devices, all at the same time. 
stream movies, download content, surf the web, and more. No buffering and no waiting. So what are you waiting for? New customers who call today get two months free internet service. Visit TwinValley.net or give us a call at 800-515-3311. Twin Valley Pulse, your life connected. Central Valley Ag, Pro-Edge Risk Management for Grain Producers, Year-Round Planning. We work one-on-one with producers to help them build and devise marketing plans with your own consultant, very specific to your operation. CVA Pro-Edge Sales Manager Luke Beckman factors in all variables. Land cost, what's our investment in fertility, and what does the market present as far as opportunities. Full service, agronomy, supplies, and Pro-Edge marketing. Contact Central Valley Ag. Where the customer comes first. Are you considering buying or building a new home in the near future? Whatever the reason, there is no better time to make a change than now. The low interest rates of today won't last forever, and the large selection of affordable homes can help turn your dream into a reality. This is Keith Blake with Union State Bank. We have a variety of loan packages available, so let Nathan, Brandon, or myself help you get pre-qualified for the home of your dreams. Give us a call or stop in today to see us. Union State Bank, member FDIC, and Equal Housing Market. Back at Chapman, about a minute and a half out from 10th. Now, coming up, we'll have Lady Tigers start things off, followed by the Tiger Boys. Tomorrow, Play Center Tiger Wrestlers hit the road. They'll be at the Rossville Tournament. Always a tough time. They're coming off a duel with Manhattan. State ranked 6A Manhattan. Tough, tough opponent for the Tiger Wrestlers. They will uh, go back at it. Tomorrow morning, they'll get things underway at 9 a.m. tomorrow in Rossville. Also coming up tomorrow on KCOY, we've got the Kansas City Chiefs as they start AFC playoffs, the wild card round, taking on the Houston Texans pregame at 2, kickoff at 3.30 from Houston. Here we're just about set to go. They'll announce starting lineup. We'll be ready for basketball when we come back. A message from Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement in Concordia. Brutal winter days will be here sooner than you think. Is your home properly insulated to keep the cold outside and keep your energy bills affordable? If not, Geisler Roofing offers several different solutions, including spray foam insulation. At Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement, we've got you covered. Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement, we've got you covered. What's next in weed technology control? Aldi Seed now offers Roundup Ready 2 Extend Soybeans, the newest solution for weed control. Roundup Ready 2 Extend Soybeans is an advanced soybean treatment product that will provide tolerance to dicamba and glyphosate. If you've been battling hard to control weeds in your fields, worry no more. This product is built on the high-yielding genuity Roundup Ready 2 yield trait, and it is available today from Aldi Seed. Looking to start a business? Maybe you're expanding your ag operation. How about buying, building, expanding, or remodeling your home? All visions can become a reality with the help of the Citizens National Bank. Stop by and visit with myself, Bryant Johnson, as I will entertain your financing request and cater to your financing needs. We look forward to hearing about your vision and hope to give us a shot here at CMB to assist you with your banking needs. The Citizens National Bank. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Resistant weeds are an ongoing threat to crop yields and likely will be an even bigger problem next growing season. Lucky for you, Wilbur Ellis and Reed Seed Sales is ready to help you out. We offer custom applications to knock down those weeds and keep them under control. Come in and visit with any of our field experts about how to stay ahead of weeds and give your crops the early advantage in the spring. We'd be glad to go over a custom application program for you at Wilbur Ellis and Reed Seed Sales. If you're discovering things you did with ease are more difficult now, there are durable medical supply items that can help you walk steadier, like canes, walkers, and braces, something that can assist you in the bath, shoes made special for diabetics, and lift chairs to help you up and at them. Patterson Health Mart is glad to provide durable medical supplies to assist you in getting around and staying independent as long as possible. You'll find yourself doing more with ease, thanks to the help of durable medical supplies from Patterson Health Mart in Clay Center. 
big flavor to your next get-together with Subway Catering. Featuring good-to-go boxed meals with a side and freshly baked cookie, crowd-pleasing giant subs, and piled-high sandwich platters overflowing with flavorific choices. All made the way you say with everything you love. Subway Catering is simple, satisfying, with something for everyone. A great value for any budget. Visit Subway.com to order and let us take care of any occasion. Subway. Cater fresh. Some catering orders may require 24-hour advance notice. Phil Casper, along with studio engineer Bernie Panzella, starting lineup star announced for Chaffin, Rebecca Thomas, a 5'5 junior, Abby Sweet, a 5'7 senior, Brianna Loy, a 5'5 sophomore, Darian Weiss, one of the top scorers in the league, a 5'6 senior, Macy Langbart, second in scoring in the league, a 5'6 senior. For your Lady Tigers, Allie Wright Frederick gets the start, 5'7 junior, Lauren Lane, a 5'8 junior, Caitlin Bonaplus, a 5'9 senior, Courtney Hamill, the leading scorer for the Clay Center Tigers, a 5'9 senior. Sydney Calloway, a 5'8 sophomore, will start for the Lady Tigers. Captain Irish, 2 and 4. They're 0 and 3 in the league. Lady Tigers undefeated, 6 and 0. This will be their both teams' fourth league matchup of the year. Both teams getting their final instructions. Clay Center, led by Coach Jeff Edwards. Chapman, led by Coach Dick Evans. Both teams appear very, very loose and warm up. Good crowd on hand on both sides. Very loud Chapman Irish pep band. And we're set to go. It'll be Courtney Hamill jumping against Darian White. Play center in black. Chapman in white. We're set to go. Tip is controlled by play center. Allie Wright Frederick will have it. He'll bring it across the timeline, call out the offense, go right wing to Callaway, back to right Frederick, the lane on the left, cross court to Callaway. Now underneath, bottom bluster, Courtney Hamill coming in the lane, can't handle it, kicks it back out. They'll start again. It's a great idea. Pass maybe a little too hot for Hamill. Now pass is going to be picked off on a cross court from lane to Callaway. Here comes Chapman. Macy Langford brings it down. She'll go right wing to Loy. Loy driving around lane on the baseline. Now, she's cut off nicely. Triple team. Good job by the Lady Tiger defense. Underneath pass now. It's going to be knocked out of bounds, and it will go to Clay Center. That'll be off the Irish. The two Irish got tangled up underneath with Caitlin Bonaplus. Ball went off one of the Irish, so no score. Just a minute into the game. Right, Frederick will walk it down. Cross the timeline. Dribbles left, looking left around the screen of Courtney Hamill. Now she's caught. Now inside the lane, two Hamill drives, falls down, ball loose. Sid Calloway gets it on the baseline, three in and out. Rebound, fought for, bonnet plus, out of bounds, diving, picked up by Chapman. Here they come, two on two, other way, Chapman, and now they're going to back it out. Loyal bring it back out top. Left side, she goes to Thomas. Now underneath, it's picked off by Calloway. Here comes Sid, now it's back to Chapman. Both teams trying to run early and not having much luck. Chapman will control it. No score. Just a couple of minutes into the game. Chapman now with the basketball. Man-to-man defense from the Tigers, and it's a good one. Now caught up top is Rebecca Thomas. Good defense by Wright Frederick. And now she takes the ball away. Five count was on, and now she picks up the foul. Right, Frederick took it away for Rebecca Thomas. She was very close to getting a five-count violation. Right, Frederick on the drive. A little frustration foul from Rebecca Thomas. So possession back to play center again. No score. Two minutes into the game. Callaway underneath to Hamill. Now underneath pass to Bonaplus. She'll kick it out. Left wing three lane. Misses. Out of bounds to Chapman. Lauren Lane got the look that she wanted, but just off the mark. So back to Chapman. They'll be met by a half-court man-to-man from Clay Center. Langbart dribbling around Callaway. There's a long three ball. That from Abby Sweet. That's off the mark. Rebound Langbart. Another three on the side for Rebecca Thomas. That won't go. Rebound loose. Courtney Hamill now tied up with Brianna Loy, and it'll be a jump ball possession to the Tigers. Boy, Courtney Hamill was not going to let go of that ball. and Took the ball and Loy to the ground. So possession to 
Clay's center, Coach Nick Evans, screaming for a foul, but that's his good defense on Courtney Hamill. Ball tipped away, now taken away from Sid Calloway. Other end we go. Rebecca Thomas is going to be fouled by Caitlin Bonneblus, and that's a good foul by Bonneblus. Oh, Rebecca Thomas goes in for an easy lay-in. No score. We're almost three minutes into the ball game. Both teams just a little shaky off the inbounds. Langford misses an easy layup. Rebound to the Tigers. Just defense from Brianna Loy. Allie Wright Frederick will walk, walk it across. 2 3 zone from the Irish. Wright Frederick kicks it right to Lane on the wing. Inside pass to Hamill underneath. Bonaplus knocked around, taken away by Chapman. That's Darian Weiss. Here comes the Irish. Langford on the left side, now in the lane. Looking off glass, won't go. Rebound to Bonnenbluss. Here come the Tigers. Bonnenbluss will slow down. Let her team catch up. Right, Frederick will walk it back out to center court. Hamill, top of the key. Turns around, looks. She'll go right wing to Callaway. Inside, Bonnenbluss tries driving lane. Goes in for two, yes. Nice move by Caitlin Bonnenbluss. That's the first point of the game. We're three and a half minutes in. Four and a half minutes left in the first. It's a 2 nothing Tiger lead. Ball taken away now. Bonneblus down court. Lane all alone. Laying, yes. So back-to-back buckets from the Tigers, and it's 4 nothing. Langford now out on the right wing. She'll go up top to Sweet. Man to man from play center. Sweet is guarded by Hamill. Tries driving right side. Nothing there. Now Hamill has her caught. Five count on, nearly lost it. Now Weiss has it, drives baseline, loses it, nearly taken away by Frederick. But Chapman somehow recovers that. A little help from Abby Sweet. Boy, good defense from the Tigers early. Now Hamill gets knocked to the ground, and there's a charge. As the initial call on Hamill was a call, and then Macy Langmore backs right into Allie Wright Frederick, who was set. Great defense. From the Lady Tigers, Savannah Kipper will come in for Lauren Lane. 4 nothing. Clay Center leading with 3.45 left in the first. 2-3 zone from Chapman. Right, Frederick will walk it across. Goes right to Bonnenblus. Turns. Now she'll go left wing. Back to right. Frederick for three. No. That's strong. Off the mark. Out of bounds to Chapman. Boy, Lady Tigers have had two good looks at three from the left wing and there's no nice way to put it. They're missing badly right now. But not quite on their mark. They do lead 4 nothing. Great defense early from the Tigers. They'll stick with that man-to-man. Kipper on Langbart. Now a long three ball from the left wing. That's Darian Weiss misses. Rebound to Chapman. Thomas in the lane. Cut off by Bonnenblus. Nearly taken away by Rice Frederick. Weiss now top of the key. Picks up her dribble. Goes left side to Thomas, drives lane, 10-footer off glass, yes. Rebecca Thomas hits the first two for the Irish, 4-2. Kipfer now on the wing, drives 15-footer, yes, and one. Savannah Kipfer for 15 feet, pop, pop, foul, and one. That foul is on Rebecca Thomas, and that's her second. With 2.49 left in the first, she picked up her second foul. They sent her up 6-2. Savannah Kipfer, chance at the three, just short. All rebounded by Chapman. Here comes the Irish. Loy brings it down. Wants to run. Cut off nicely by Wright Frederick. Back to Langbart on the right wing. Kipfer on her. Now Langbart's going to try a three. That won't go. Rebound loose underneath. Wright Frederick comes out of there with it. Right, Frederick dribbles by two defenders, has it taken away, and gets it back. And then she's hammered, hammered on on a ball that goes out of bounds, and I mean shoved to the ground, and no call. So possession will go to Chapman. Timeout on the floor. 2.25 left. It's 6-2. Play center with the lead. We'll be back right after this. Now's an excellent time to purchase a pre-owned Ford vehicle at Hanson Ford in Clay Center. 
Why now? Because through February 1st, they're offering 1.9 APR for up to 66 months when you choose a Ford Focus, Fusion, Escape, or F-150 from Hanson's lot of certified pre-owned Ford vehicles. You can buy with confidence that these vehicles have been thoroughly checked by qualified, experienced mechanics at Hanson Ford. So hurry in for this limited time offer of 1.9 APR for 66 months at Hanson Ford in downtown Clay Center. Well, probably a pretty good timeout by Chapman as both teams a little out of control, but uh, really physical play and nothing called. So possession will go to Chapman. Not nearly a five count on the inbound, but they do manage to get it in. Weiss to Langmar. Langmar trying to drive, and she is getting frustrated. Courtney Hamill is all over her, and it is great defense. Not allowing Langmar to even get a decent look. Sweet will now go back up top to Weiss. Five count on. She's guarded by Frederick. Now Weiss will drive lane. Shot up won't go, but she's fouled. And I think Caitlin Bonaplus may be a little bit too aggressive. And that is on Caitlin, and that's her second. So that's going to send Darian Weiss to the line. She'll shoot two. Two minutes left in the first. It's a 6-2 Lady Tiger lead. Weiss at the line, shooting two. First shot up and good. Sydney Callaway will come in for Caitlin Bonnenbluss, who picked up her second foul. Weiss will have one more. Weiss averaging right around 16 points a game, picks up her second point. And it's 6 4. Hamill inbound to right. Frederick. Chapman will stay in that 2-3 zone. Left side, Callaway on the wing. Now in the lane to lane, nearly loses it. To Kipfer, back to right. Frederick to Callaway. Left side, looking in. Cross court to Kipfer. Drive lane. Skip past left. It's going to be kicked by Chapman out of bounds to play center. I think Savannah trying to skip that to the left to Courtney Hamill, who had really got a nice backdoor look towards the basket, but ball kicked by Chapman. Inbound to Callaway. She'll go baseline to right Frederick. Underneath, Hamill shot up, won't go, and a lot of contact, and they're going to say off play center. Neither coach Jeff Edwards or Nicole Oldie like that too well. That's probably the right call. So Chapman with the basketball. 6-4 play center lead. Minute and a half left at the first. Langhart driving left. Now it does get around Hamill, tries driving lane, and they're going to get Savannah Kipfer on a foul before the shot. So Macy Langhart finally able to get around Courtney Hamill. Clay Center doing a really good job with this man to man. Langhart, lob pass inside to Abby Sweet, guarded by Hamill. He's going to dribble back up top. To Thomas, dribbles left. Loy in the lane. That kicks a right. Ball knocked away by Sidney Calloway. Out of bounds. To Chapman. Minute seven. Play center up two, six, four. Law pass inside. Langbar drives lane. Nothing there. Shot partially blocked, but she got her own rebound. Put it back for two, and we're tied. Just under a minute. Here comes right Frederick. She'll hold up top. Now she'll go right to Kipfer. Inside, Hamill drives lane. Ball goes right off of her hand. Coach Jeff Edwards lobbying for a foul. He's got to be real careful. He's upset. I don't blame him. There is a lot of contact. Still lobbying and... Not going to get what he wants. Now, Macy Langford, other end, 10 feet baseline, and Chapman takes the lead. Chapman up 8 6. Here comes Wright Frederick with 25 seconds. She'll back it out. Now she'll go left wing to Callaway. Cross court. Kipfer looking underneath. Nothing there. Nearly walked. Now has it stripped away. And now knocked away again. Good defense by Lauren Lane with 10. Here comes Wright Frederick. Left side. Callaway looking, no, lane, top of the key, three, no, just won't go. 
with one second left, Chapman rebounds, and we are headed to the second. 8-6, Chapman leads play center, headed to the second after this. The variety of the wow bins at Ray's Apple Market is always changing and offers you great savings. You'll find over a dozen wow bins throughout the store, featuring your favorite brands, private labels, and new food items to try. From peanut butter to box dinners, snack items, canned goods, and more. Shop every week to find great values and stock up on pantry items your family enjoys. Ray's Apple Market is glad to provide customers with quality choices to feed your family while saving you money. Central Valley Ag, Pro-Edge Risk Management for Grain Producers, Year-Round Planning. We work one-on-one with producers to help them build and devise marketing plans with your own consultant, very specific to your operation. CVA Pro-Edge Sales Manager Luke Beckman factors in all variables. Land cost, what's our investment in fertility, and what does the market present as far as opportunities. Full service, agronomy, supplies, and Pro-Edge marketing. Contact Central Valley Ag. Where the customer comes first. A one quarter in the books, play center Lady Tigers trail at Tavon Irish, 8 6. And a really a cold shooting first quarter for both teams. Macy Langbard finally able to find her mark. She has four of Chapman's eight. Chapman will open with possession. Abby Sweet, top of the key. She'll go back to Rebecca Thomas. Left side, Langbard now drives Lane right around Lauren Lane and can't get the layup to go. And Lauren Lane up strong with the board. Boy, a pretty easy look for Macy Langbard, and she misses that. Nice board from Lauren Lane. Callaway, and now she took a step. I'll say she drugged that back foot, and that's that's a tough one. So back to Chapman. Weiss now top of the key. Left side, she'll go to Loy. She'll dribble back up top, guarded by Kipfer. Langbart, Hamill's done a nice job on her, and now Langbart's travel. Boy, nice defense once again by Courtney Hamill as Macy Langbart went up to pass. Courtney Hamill went up just a little bit higher. Langbart couldn't let that pass go. Nice job from Hamill, doing an outstanding job on one of the best players in the NCKL. 8-6. Chapman lead. Second quarter underway. Three ball right wing. Kipfer, no strong. Rebound fought for underneath, but they're going to get Sydney Calloway trying to go through a Lady Irish. So Calloway will pick up her first. Each team with four fouls. Langbar to walk it down. Man to man defense will continue for play center. They've done really well with this. Hamill on Langbar. Weiss, right wing. Thought about a shot. Won't take it. Now left baseline is Rebecca Thomas trying to drive. Had an open shot. Wouldn't take it. Now kicks it back out to Langbart. Double teamed immediately. She'll go back up top to Sweet. Right side to Thomas. Right baseline. She goes to Lloyd. Now she's going to drive baseline. Nothing there. Loses it. Ball loose. Spots more. That's going to be a jump ball. And possession to play center. But Courtney Hamill will inbound for the Tigers to Bryce Fredericks. She'll walk it down, getting instructions from Coach Jeff Edwards. Play center has been in a man-to-man. Chapman will stay in that 2-3 zone. Bryce Fredericks dribbles right, now left to Callaway. Inside, Hamill backs her way in and fouled. Shot won't go, but Macy Langbard picks up what I think is her second. And that is Langbart's second, so that'll send Hamill to the line shooting two. Courtney Hamill yet to score in this ball game. First free throw up and good. Addie Mullen set to check in for the Tigers. She'll come in for Lauren Lane. Mullen's just a freshman, but she's gotten quite a few minutes for the Tigers. and Makes them count. Hamill can't get the second one, but rebound by Wright Frederick, and she's going to be fouled immediately. Wright Frederick really snuck around Darian Weiss, and I think that was more frustration than anything. Now Lauren Lane back in for Savannah Kipfer. Kipfer will leave with 
two points. Bright looking to inbound. Trying to get it to lane, baseline. Cross-court pass to Hamill. Left baseline, three. Sid Callaway, yes! Sidney Callaway, pure on the three ball, and now other end. Langford double dribbles. Turnover back to the Tigers. They've retaken the lead, 9-8. And now another turnover from the Irish. So Rice Frederick will walk it down. Gets the play from Coach Edwards. He has everybody where they want them, and now we'll go. All right, Frederick inside. Hamill around Langbard, and now Langbard may have picked up her third. And that is on Macy Langbard, and that is three. So Macy Langbard, I'm sure, will come out of this game as Courtney Hamill heads to the line shooting two. She'll miss the first, and that has been a great matchup, and Hamill is winning that battle in a big way so far. Macy Langbar will come out. Lindsay Anderson will replace her, a 5-5 sophomore. Play center with a 9-8 lead. Hamill will have one more. Second one on the way. That's strong. Going to be rebounded by Weiss. Chapman with the board. Play center leading. 9-8, five and a half left in the first half. Down near steel, ball loose. That's going to be out of bounds. Play center. That went off of Brianna Loy, and now Coach Dick Evans wants a timeout. 527 left in the first half. It's 9 8. Lady Tigers lead when we come back. The 15th. That's the day it arrives. That white standard window envelope sits in the mailbox just waiting to deliver its dread. That is the day the mortgage bill comes, but it's not that bad. Well, since I refinance with United Bank and Trust, that is. Oh. Well, now I just feel overly dramatic. Don't be scared. Take advantage of the market. There's still time to refinance, and that can mean saving dollars each year. Visit eubankonline.com to check out current rates and even begin the refinance process. Rethink, refinance, United Bank and Trust. Banking for your way of life. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Whether you're a farmer, business owner, or homeowner, you put a lot of time, money, and hard work into your home, farm, and business. That's why it makes sense to insure your investments just in case things don't go as planned. We at Farmers Union Insurance pride ourselves in being able to risk manage for all your needs. Whether it's your crops, home, equipment, or business needs, we have a solution for you. Give myself, Jim Gearhan, a call at 632-3264 or stop by 426 Lincoln Avenue to discuss your insurance needs. Out of the Chapman timeout, 527 left in the first half. Slay Center Lady Tigers lead 9-8. Big news so far is Macy Langbard, the second leading scorer in the NCAA on the bench for the Irish. Now, Sid Callaway has the ball knocked out of her hand. Loose. Chapman's going to end up with it, but Rebecca Thomas in trouble and now somehow does get out of that. Chapman with possession. Weiss will bring it down to Sweet, left wing. Lauren Lane guarding her. Five counts on. Sweet has to move. Now, nearly has it taken away, but they're going to get Courtney Hamill with the foul. I think she was okay initially, but then tried to fight for that basketball and committed the foul in the process, so Hamill will pick up her first. Play center's fifth team foul, Chapman with seven. Inbounds to Sweet, left wing. She'll drive left, guarded by Mullen, and good defense by Mullen. Baseline now, Brianna Lloyd. She's going to try driving. She's cut off by Mullen in lane. Now back out top to Thomas. She'll go right wing to Sweet for three, misses everything, out of bounds to play center. And neither team shooting real well from three-point land. That Callaway has the only one of the night for either team. The play center back with possession. Kipper will bring it down. Right Frederick will get a little break. She'll go left wing to Mullen. Thought about three. Now she'll go back to Kipper. Right side, Callaway. Inside, Hamill driving around twice and loses their dribble. Out of bounds to Chapman. Courtney Hamill had just a step on Darian Weiss, but... Just lost control of her dribble. Down court quickly comes Chapman. That's Loy. Cut off by Mullen. Right side now, Lindsey Anderson. Nothing there as Courtney Hamill continues to play very well defensively. She is a lot of fun to watch tonight. Now, 
Thomas or Anderson rather in the lane. And bodies everywhere. Ball out of bounds. No foul calls with possession to Chapman. Wow. Officials really letting them play pretty physical. They are calling when they have to, and they've been pretty fair about it. But a really physical game. Now inside pass is going to be taken away by Hamill. Down court, there's Kipper left side. Stops and pops. Yeah. Boy, nice move by the senior as Savannah Kipper, rather than try to drive that in, stops from five feet and banks it in. 11-8, play center with the lead. Timeout, Tigers, when we come back. Did you know that high school students who play sports are also likely to excel in academics? That shouldn't be a surprise. The values of self-motivation, determination, and hard work, especially when the going gets tough, result in success both on the court and in the classroom. I'm Brett Hupka with Clay County National Bank, and we're proud to support our student-athletes as they gain skills in both leadership and teamwork. Our best to the Tigers from Clay County National Bank, member FDIC. Out of the Clay Center Tiger timeout, 3.55 left in the first half, 11-8. Clay Center now with the lead. I think more of a personnel issue, and Coach Jeff Edwards wanting to switch up defenses. He'll now go a full more press. And Chapman immediately having some trouble getting it in. They do, and across the timeline goes Brianna Loy, and now a charge is going to be called on Addie Mullen. <laughs> So Addie Mullen's going to pick up her first, and now both teams will be in the bonus. The next one on Clay Center would send Chapman to the line. Now ball taken away on the inbound, Lauren Lane, and now she loses the dribble and ball down to the other end. As they're going to say no one else touched it, so out of bounds to Chapman. Lauren Lane, nice job defensively, but again, just some trouble. There's a near steal. On the inbounds, that's Allie Wright. Long pass down court is going to be handled by Thomas. Now she's caught by Lane. Five down on. That should be five, and that's a turnover. Boy, what a job by Lauren Lane as she scraps Rebecca Thomas in a corner. And Thomas just had nothing she could do. So turnover to the Tigers. They lead 11-8 with 328 left in the second. Kipper inside, two lane, cross court. Addie Mullen, boys, left wing wide open. Chose not to take it. Now she will, three from Mullen. Just strong. Rebound fought for Lane. Gets it back up and in. Lauren Lane with the board and put back off the missed three from Addie Mullen. And Tigers have gone up five. Spin move now on the other end from Loy. Can't get the shot to go. Gets her own rebound. That won't go. Gets it again. Puts it up again. That won't go. And Allie Wright Frederick will come out of there with it. Now play center wants to run. Now Wright Frederick is going to back it out. Smart move by the junior. Right wing, Kipper three from Kipper. No strong, ball loose. Mullen gets it, lay in. No, won't go. Hamill gets the rebound. Shot up, won't go. And they're going to say she was fouled. And that'll be one and one before the shot. So that's going to send Courtney Hamill to the line, one and one. They'll say that foul was before the shot. Boy, a couple of really nice looks for the Lady Tigers. that just could not get him to fall. Courtney Hamill now. First free throw strong. Rebound by Chapman. Hamill just having some trouble with the line tonight. She's one of five. There's a now a foul is going to be called on Wright Frederick. As play center coach is wanting a walk on Chapman. So that's going to send Darian, to send Darian Weiss to the line shooting one on one. All right, Frederick will get a break. Picks up her first foul. Darian Weiss. Should be one and one. Two officials now over at the scorer's table, and everybody at the scorer's table saying, yes, that's play center's seventh team foul, or rather eighth team foul, or seventh team foul. Chapman with eight. Weiss the line, free throw up and in. But Darian Weiss will pick up her third point. Macy Langbart still on the bench with three fouls. 13-9. Play center with the lead. Still 13-9 as Weiss misses the second rebound lane. Outlet to Mullen. Still walking across the timeline. Left side Kiffer. Back to Mullen. Right side. 
to Callaway, cross court Kipfer. Driving in the lane, five footers. No, all but down. That ball was halfway down and somehow rattled back out. Boy, nice look from Savannah Kipfer, just couldn't get it to fall. 13 9. Play center with the lead, and now a foul is going to be called on Addie Mullen as Mullen just lost her footing a little bit and fell in to Brianna Loy. Mullen picks her up her second, so Rice Frederick will come back in. Loy will go to the line shooting one and one. 201 left in the first half. It's a 13 9 Tiger lead. Boys free throw up and down. Second free throw from Loy, in and out, rebound Hamill. Hamill not able to score early in this game, but her defense has been impressive. Callaway now on the baseline. She's going to be fouled by Rebecca Thomas. That'll send Sid Callaway to the line, shooting one and one Callaway with three points. She has the lone three in this game. Bottom bluff back in, lane out. 151 left in the second quarter. 13-10. Clay Center with the lead. Callaway's free throw up and down. Callaway will have one more. Clay Center has gone to a full court press. It looks like they'll stay in that. Second free throw from Callaway's pure. 15-10. Now Clay Center will go back to their Man to man, down court to Loy, left wing, drive, cut off by Rice Frederick, back up top to Sweet. Loy again, cut off by Hamill in the lane. She'll put her shot up anyway, won't go. Somehow gets her own rebound and now falls to the ground, and that's a travel. The turnover by the Irish, neither coach. <laughs> Real impressed with this officiating, but I will say they've been very fair both ways. They're just letting him play quite a bit. So 124 left, play center with a five point lead, 15 10. Right, Frederick. Left side, Kipper. She wants three. Partially blocked. Hamill gets the rebound. Put back off glass as Courtney Hamill has her first field goal at 17 10, the largest lead for the Tigers. Lloyd, now other end, loses her dribble out of bounds to play center. Her and Wright Frederick crashed to the ground, but ball loose, and that's a good no call. Wright just backing up, lost her footing, and I think Lloyd thought there was going to be contact. So out of bounds, two play center, one minute left in the first half. Kipfer on the wing. Inside, Megan Robbins into the game, back out. Now Callaway, she'll go from 15. No, won't go. Rebound, Hamill, put back, yes. Courtney Hamill again. Five points. Another rebound and put back. Macy Langford back in the game with three fouls. Weiss baseline blocked by Courtney Hamill. Gets her own rebound. Somehow Weiss got her own rebound and put it back up and down. 19-12 with 24 seconds. And Coach Jeff Edwards says last shot. Fifteen seconds. Right, Frederick will hold. Now she'll go with nine. With six. She's got to move. Now it does. Inside. Hamill drives around. Shot up. Won't go. Rebound by Langbart. She won't get a shot off. We're headed to halftime. Play center Lady Tigers lead 19-12 at half when we come back to Chapman. Every major construction project uses concrete in one form or another. From residential driveways to basements, patios and curbs, Midwest Products make great use of their ready-mix concrete. They operate four state-approved plants in Hanover, Clay Center, Lynn and Washington to meet the needs of residential, commercial or farm-related projects. Livestock slats, feed bunks, landscape rock and more are all available from Midwest Products. Give them a call for all your jobs that require ready-mix concrete. 
800-371-2252. Outstanding products produce outstanding yields. That's why Valley Irrigation manufactures the most advanced center pivots the industry can offer. Our innovative technology and reliable dealers can help you save water, energy, and labor. No one else offers the same durability and dependability of a Valley machine. Reliability is too important to entrust to anyone less than the leader in precision irrigation. Contact your local Valley dealer today. See Republican Valley Irrigation or call 632-5588. What's next in weed technology control? Aldi Seed now offers Roundup Ready 2 Extend Soybeans, the newest solution for weed control. Roundup Ready 2 Extend Soybeans is an advanced soybean treatment product that will provide tolerance to dicamba and glyphosate. If you've been battling hard to control weeds in your fields, worry no more. This product is built on the high-yielding Genuity Roundup Ready 2 yield trait, and it is available today from Oldie Seed. If you're searching for a Ford truck, car, or SUV, Henson Ford is here to serve you. They have a wide selection of both new and pre-owned vehicles. Browse their inventory to find the perfect Ford model to meet your needs. For quality service on your vehicle, Hanson Ford has you covered. They offer competitive pricing for parts and service and any maintenance your car may need, from oil changes to full tune-ups. For a great experience at a Ford dealership near you, stop by Hanson Ford in Clay Center. Back at Chapmanville, Casper, along with Bernie Pancella. Again, play center Lady Tigers with the lead. They are up 19-12. They trailed at the end of the first period. 8-6, pretty cold shooting by both teams. So not a lot of uh, fireworks, I guess, but the second period they picked it up. Play center picked it up. They scored 13. They hold Chapman 2-4. The big story for the Irish, Macy Langbard out with three fouls. She did come in within the last couple of minutes of that first half. Scoring for the Lady Irish, Darian Weiss led with five. Mason Langbar did have four. Two from Rebecca Thomas and a free throw from Brianna Loy. For the Lady Tigers, five each from Courtney Hamill and Sydney Calloway. Hamill's defense has been impressive tonight. Lauren Lane with four. Savannah Kipper with four. And Caitlin Bonnenbluss with two. Again, we are at halftime. Play Center Lady Tigers are leading 19-12. We'll take you back to the studio. We do have an interview coming up. Rocky uh, had a chance earlier today to talk with Lane Wybie. We'll let you hear from Lane and then bring you back to Chapman after this. Get more than propane when Propane Central delivers. Get a free gas system check. Payment plans to fit any budget and flexible delivery options. You can also earn free gas with their generous customer referral program. Just another way, Propane Central offers the best value in propane. Propane Central, need a renovator and friend. Your family has a lot to worry about these days, like birthday parties, science projects, and earning that pizza party in Mrs. Johnson's reading class. Getting there safely shouldn't be another worry. Give your family the peace of mind they deserve with the Michelin Premier family of tires. They're safe when new, safe when worn. Stop by Bud's Tire Service in Clay Center, and our experts will make sure you have the tires designed for a luxurious ride and confident control of the road. Safe refers to wet braking, wet handling, and hydroplaning resistance when the tires are new and worn to 5 30 seconds of an inch. Go Tigers! Looking to start a business? Maybe you're expanding your ag operation. How about buying, building, expanding, or remodeling your home? All visions can become a reality with the help of the Citizens National Bank. Stop by and visit with myself, Bryant Johnson, as I will entertain your financing request and cater to your financing needs. We look forward to hearing about your vision and hope to give us a shot here at CMB to assist you with your banking needs. The Citizens National Bank. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Back again at halftime, and we have a conversation coming up this halftime with Lane Leiby, one of the Clay Center Tiger seniors. We had a chance to visit with him yesterday for the Locker Room Show, which you can find on the KCLY YouTube channel. Right now, though, we're going to give you that conversation with Lane Leiby. This week on the Locker Room Show, joined by the magic man, Lane Leiby is with us, one of the Tiger seniors. Lane, you guys are coming off of uh, really four games. I think you guys have stepped your level of play up, the back-to-back -back wins, close games against two state-ranked teams. As you guys came into the Christmas break and over those practice sessions with Coach Williams, what were the things that he 
emphasize for you guys as a team to maybe work toward and, and, and increase uh, what you're doing on the court? Uh, Coach Williams just encouraged us to make good decisions and to keep working hard and just keep playing hard. I mean, you can't do anything about things you can't control, so just got to go out there and do your best. The Wamigo game was a wild and wacky finish here in this uh, gymnasium, and then you guys tested Concordia this week. What were some things that maybe Coach Williams has challenged you personally to work on as the season goes along? Uh, to just keep attacking and being aggressive and to make good decis decisions and be a leader. The attacking in uh, the Riley County game was fun to watch. 14 points really led the way. I know you see the floor so well uh, with this team as well to dish it out. You and I were talking before we turned that camera on, and we were talking about school a little bit and about sports and high school sports, and you realize how quickly this thing is going. You said you're going to miss it a lot. Yeah, I'm definitely going to miss it. I've loved playing for the Tigers, and it's been a great four years. Well, it's been fun to watch, and we're not done watching you play. We've got a lot more business to take care of. Speaking of business to take care of, it's Tiger trivia. Now, Lane understands this because he's been through it in football. Okay, you ready? In a game of horse, who wins, your brother Nate or your dad slash Coach Leiby? Probably dad. Are you, are you sucking up to dad right now, or is that, is that the truth? Maybe just a little bit. <laughs> Thought so, maybe. Uh, national championship game this Monday, Clemson or Alabama? Clemson. I like that. Is that the K-State connection, or is it an a anti-SCC connection? Anti-SCC. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, name your favorite basketball player, college or NBA? Uh, I like Dean Wade from K-State, but I also like Buddy Heald from OU. Very good. My two really good guys to, uh, to watch on the court. Another good guy to watch right here, Lane Leiby. Magic, go get him this week as you take on the Chapman Irish, and thanks for being with us. Thank you. Again, Lane Leiby from yesterday, a conversation that you can see on the KCLY YouTube channel. We'll have another conversation coming up during the boys' halftime with Coach Kelly Williams of the Clay Center Tigers. We visit with Tiger Sports each week on the Locker Room Show. Find it again on the KCLY YouTube channel. Right now, it's back to Chapman and Flip Casper. Resistant weeds are an ongoing threat to crop yields and likely will be an even bigger problem next growing season. Lucky for you, Wilbur Ellis and Reed Seed Sales is ready to help you out. We offer custom applications to knock down those weeds and keep them under control. Come in and visit with any of our field experts about how to stay ahead of weeds and give your crops the early advantage in the spring. We'd be glad to go over a custom application program for you at Wilbur Ellis and Reed Seed Sales. If you're discovering things you did with ease are more difficult now, there are durable medical supply items that can help you walk steadier, like canes, walkers, and braces, something that can assist you in the bath, shoes made special for diabetics, and lift chairs to help you up and at them. Patterson Health Mart is glad to provide durable medical supplies to assist you in getting around and staying independent as long as possible. You'll find yourself doing more with ease, thanks to the help of durable medical supplies from Patterson Health Mart in Clay Center. Hey folks, Bill Rice from the Green Team. I want to invite you to come out and try our service department. We have a express lane for oil changes and much, much more. No waiting, 30 minutes or less, no appointment necessary. Make your vehicle road ready. Or if you need heavier work done, we've got certified technicians that can do jobs from recall work, regular maintenance, all the way to complete engine repair. So come out and see us at the Green Team, 802 West Crawford in Clay Center. Just about set to get underway in the second half. Play center Lady Tigers are leading 19-12 at the half. They trailed 8-6 at the end of one, up 19-12 at the half. A couple of scores at halftime. Concordia and Wamigo, that is a 10-10 tie. Also, uh, Abilene, I believe they're playing Marysville. Abilene leading that game 30-24. That one also at half as well. Here is a 1912 play center Lady Tiger lead. Chapman Irish pep band continues to entertain. Very strong and very good pep band as well. They've been in the right decade most of halftime, playing a lot of 80s hits. Play center led in that first half by Courtney Hamill and Sidney Calloway. They both had five. Hamill starting off a little bit cold, but defensively she has just been brilliant in that first half. 
all over Macy Langbart. Macy Langbart with three fouls spent most of the second period on the bench. Second leading scorer in the NCKL. Play center will start on defense as Chapman gets set to inbound. And second period is underway. There's been trouble getting it in again as Clay Center is going to stay in that man-to-man. And they've got a trap on, and that's going to be nearly taken away by Lauren Lane as she got tied up with Brianna Loy again. And it seems like every time that a Clay Center Lady Tiger is tied up, it's Brianna Loy on the short end of that stick. And she is really frustrated. You can't blame her. So Clay Center will get possession after that jump ball call. Bottom bluff, back to right Frederick. Right wing Callaway looking inside, nothing there. She'll go back to right Frederick. Callaway, right wing, baseline to Bonham bluff. Top of the key, right Frederick for three. No, won't go. Rebound fought for, but the Irish will come out of there with it. Abby Sweet with a pretty good rebound. Macy Langbart now trying to drive around Lauren Lane. Three fouls, spin move in the lane. Strong rebound, Courtney Hamill. Comes out of there strong. Other end now. Hamill, left side. Bonnenbluss in the lane. Puts up a little shot off glass and one. Nice shot by Bonnenbluss. Thought she was, was fouled, but nothing called in there. So just the two ball. Possession back to the Irish. Now Langhart is trapped by Bonnenbluss. Does get it out of there. Play center up 21-12. Inside, Langhart with the elbow move and a charge. And she's going to draw that ball every time as she went hard into Courtney Hamill and Hamill set, and that is four fouls on Macy Langbard. And Coach Nick Evans just got a warning from the official. He's going to got to be careful here. Official still looking down, and his star just picked up her fourth foul. And she went into Courtney Hamill hard, leading with the forearm and call the charge. Again, that's just great deep by Hamill. Now feed underneath the basket. Right Frederick to Hamill. Hamill up and down for two. Picks up her seventh, and the lead has gone to 11. It's 23-12. Langbart baseline, and she's going to be fouled. Shot won't go, but she'll head to the line shooting two. Boy, Macy Langbart on the floor with four fouls. Just a minute and a half into this third period. That foul is going to be called on Sid Callaway. That's her second. Langbar's free throw up and down. She'll have one more. Surprising that Coach Nick Evans is going to leave her in there with four. Second one is short. Rebound, guess who? Courtney Hamill. Chapman will fall back into that 2-3 zone. They've stayed in that the entire game. Play center has not come out of that man-to-man. Lauren Lane, cross court to Callaway. Now she's going to drive. A little five-footer off glass won't go. I think that one's on Darian Weiss. I don't think Langbart. No, that is on, on Weiss. Langbart right there as well with four. Still watching. Coach Nick Evans making no move to replace Macy Langbart. Weiss picks up her second free throw from Callaway. is strong. She has five points. Savannah Kiffer will get set to go back in. Callaway's second free throw up and down. Kiffer will come in four lane, and now Clay Center is going to go to a full court press. Inbounds pass to Langbart. Now they'll back off. They'll go back man to man. Callaway on Langbart. Cross court pass to Thomas. She tries driving around Hamill and won't go. Loses her dribble. Now top of the key three ball from Chapman. That's sweet. That won't go. Weiss rebounds. That won't go. And now Hamill is going to commit a foul on Langbart. And not in the act of shooting, so that'll go out of bounds. To Chapman. That's Hamill's second. Inbounds nearly taken away. It is taken away as Kipper comes up with that. No. And now a travel is going to be called on Langbart as he fell to the floor. Kipper had it. But Coach Nick Evans is just, just on the verge of a meltdown. Really doing the best he can 
to not get his team in any more trouble than they're already in. Right, Frederick, two Bonin Bluffs, right wing, two Callaway. Looking inside, not much there. She'll go back up top, Kipfer, left side, right, Frederick. Underneath baseline, two Bonin Bluffs. Cross course, three ball, two Callaway. No, just strong as Callaway from that right wing had a really nice look at it. Rebound Langbar. Here comes the Irish. Langbar spin move in the lane and a foul called immediately. As Langbart went up to pass, that's going to be on 21. That's on, they're going to call it on Bonin Bluff. That's her third. Thought they'd call Sid Callaway, but that's Caitlin Bonin Bluff, but she'll pick up her third. She will come out. Lauren Lane back in. So Chapman will inbounds under their own basket. Sweet. Looking, and now nearly crossed. The line, but did does get it into Weiss. Langbart now left side from 20. No, that won't go strong. Rebound. Fought for. Darren Weiss went up and over Savannah Kipper to try to get that. So Weiss pick up her, I think, third. That is Darian Weiss's third. So Weiss with three, Langbart with four, and both are still on the floor. Five minutes left in the third. It's the 24-13 play center Lady Tiger lead. Left wing Callaway, back to right Frederick. She'll go right to Kipfer, back up top. Free throw stripe lane, turns and looks, has it knocked away by Thomas. Now three ball from Kipfer, yes! And Savannah Kipfer from the right wing gets the three ball to fall. And play center's gone up 14, it's 27 13. Langmark to Loy has it taken away by Savannah Kipfer. Coach Jeff Edwards telling Allie Wright Frederick, slow it down. 14 point lead. Chapman has not come out of that 2 3 zone. Kipfer, right wing, bounce pass on the baseline. Two Hamill feeding Lauren Lane. Yes, and one. So that foul is going to be on Brianna Loy. That'll be her second. And Lauren Lane with a chance at the old three. Free throw up, in and out. Won't go. Rebound to White. Down court to Thomas. Nearly lost it. Hangs on. Langbart feeding Weiss in the lane. Turnaround jumper won't go. And a foul is going to be called on the floor. I think on Alley Wright Frederick, and it is. So the officials really lose in this first half. They've really tightened it up in this second. So each team, I think, trying to get a feel for things. Inbound pass to Langbart, nearly taken away by Callaway. Langbart drives Lane up and down. So Macy Langbart will pick up her second. It's 29 15. 355 left. Chapman, timeout on the floor. We'll bring you back after this. Resistant weeds are an ongoing threat to crop yields and likely will be an even bigger problem next growing season. Lucky for you, Wilbur Ellis and Reed Seed Sales is ready to help you out. We offer custom applications to knock down those weeds and keep them under control. Come in and visit with any of our field experts about how to stay ahead of weeds and give your crops the early advantage in the spring. We'd be glad to go over a custom application program for you at Wilbur Ellis and Reed Seed Sales. Holy man, woman, and child is a new year. Where did 2016 go? Of course, since it's January, it means that it's time for the Walls Tree Value Tool Sale. That's right, air compressors, cordless drills and tools, reciprocating saws, right angle grinders, and more on sale at Walls Tree Value, along with a coupon book sale for the ladies. Stop in and see what you can buy at bargain prices at Walls Tree Value, 423 Lincoln, in beautiful downtown Clay Center, open seven days a week for you. 29-15, Lady Tigers with the lead. 3.55 left in the third. Phil Casper along with Bernie Pancella will be Lady Tiger basketball on that point shot from Macy Langbart. Still in the game with four fouls. Coach Nick Evans just going to roll the dice. Really, what else are you going to do at this point? I think more frustration probably on Coach Evans' part than anything. Right, Frederick speeding. Oh, wow. 
graffiti Sidney Callaway underneath on an alley-oop and a perfect pass. And Callaway could not get that shot to fall. That was a nice-looking play, but just could not get it to work. It'll go out of bounds to Chavin. Now the press on from the Lady Tigers. It bounced to White. It's going to be taken away by Callaway. Left side lay-in won't go. Rebound from Langbart. Here come the Irish. Down court, too sweet. Left side, five-footer. No, won't go. Ball batted around. Courtney Hamill's going to come out of there with it. So now Wright Frederick will slow things down just a bit with 319 left in the third. 14-point Lady Tiger lead. Bowen back to Wright Frederick. To Callaway on the right wing. Baseline to Lane. Top of the key. Wright Frederick, three. No, in and out. Just a little strong, and that ball is going to be knocked away. That's going to be out of bounds. No, they'll say off. Boy, they'll say off Sydney Callaway. Or rather, Lauren Lane. Well, it's good defense by Lauren Lane, but they'll say out of bounds off Lane. So back to Chapman. Courtney Hamill is going to get a well-deserved breather. She has played a great game, particularly on the defensive side of things. Weiss gets the inbounds on the baseline. Callaway loses her for a minute. Five-footer won't go. Rebound fought for Megan Robbins. Had it. Sally Wright comes up with it. Robbins, nice job in there. Megan Robbins, 5'9", senior. Getting some minutes and always makes the most of them. 241. And now Clay Center is going to spread it out. They, they want Chapman to come out of that 2-3 zone or they'll be content to hang on to it. Now they do. The two guards come out and force Wright Frederick to do something. She throws back to Callaway. Now cross-court pass to Mullen. Back up top to Frederick. Looking inside. Not much there. Trying to bring the guards out again. Now they do come out and now foul is going to be called on Brianna Loy and Chapman is really, really frustrated. <laughs> And now a technical has been called on Coach Nick Evans. And he's going to be careful or he's going to get ejected. Yeah, he will walk away. And, boy, you understand the frustration, but you knew that was coming. And now he does get teed up. So Allie Rice Frederick stands at the line. First one goes. And that's right, Frederick's first points of the game. And, Coach Evans still on the court. He's going to get ejected. Second free throw from Rice Frederick is good. This official really being patient, and now another official comes over. So the official really letting, really letting Evans, and now he gets. Boy, he's really letting him go, and now he will take a seat. So, Wright Frederick hits both free throws on the tee, and now Clay Center will get possession. They lead 31-15. There's 2-12 left in the third. Wright Frederick back to Mullen on the right wing. Top of the key to Wright Frederick to Mullen, right wing. They'll play catch for a minute, and now Chapman will come out. Guards will come out and force Clay Center to move a little bit. Right, Frederick and Mullen playing catch. Now Robin to Mullen. Right wing three ball from Addie Mullen. Won't go. Robin with the board. Put back from Megan Robin. Won't go. Rebound by Langbart. Here comes Chapman. Langbart leading with that forearm. Boy, she is really fortunate. Right, Frederick set up for the charge, but they call, do call the foul. And Pretty good defense by Wright Frederick and really, really gutsy of Macy Langbar. 31-17, she does get that to fall, but she'll have the one free throw from Langbar short. Wright Frederick with the rebound. A minute and a half left in the third. It's 31-17. Clay Center with the lead. Wright Frederick top of the key. They are not going to let her hold anymore. Those guards quickly out on her. Lane, she'll go back up to Frederick. Left wing, Mullen, looking in, nothing there, back to Frederick. Inside, Lane from Mullen, dribbles between two defenders, and a foul is going to be called 
probably on on uh, Loy. Nope, they will call Lindsey Anderson, both in the area. So Lindsey and Lindsey Anderson gets the call. Savannah Kipper back into the game for Wright Frederick. Now Wright Frederick with only two points, but again, great defense from the junior. Savannah Kipper has seven on the night. Lauren Lane stands at the line. First one, strong rebound, White. There come the Irish down court to Langbard, and now a foul is going to be called before the shot on Callaway. That is on Callaway. So that will send Langbard back shooting one-on-one. So Macy Langbard goes back to the line. She'll shoot one-on-one. Each team has seven fouls. Free throw from Langbard is good. Ten points now for Macy Langbard. Callaway will come out with three. So on the floor is Kipfer, Lane, Mullen, Wright, Frederick, and Robbins. Langbard hits the second, and it's 31-19. Minutes four left in the third. Mullen in, right Frederick. At the top of the key, baseline pass to Kipper in the lane. Skip pass top of the key. There's right Frederick from lane for three. Yes. Allie right Frederick buries the three. And it's 34-19. Now Langbard, other end, and a foul's going to be called. The batty Mullen. Sets and falls. That would be Langbar's fifth, but moving her feet and she's going to get called. So that'll send Langbar to the line shooting two. 34 19, 37 seconds left in the third. Langbar hits the first. Mullins picked up her third. On and Bluff, Hamill, and Callaway back in. Mullen, Lane, and Robbins out. Langbart with one more. Free throw up and down. Bryce Frederick now will walk it down. Coach Jeff Edwards does one with 32. Bryce Frederick will move left. Trying to bring the guards out. They do come out quickly. Cross court pass to Callaway. With 18, baseline to Kipfer. She'll go back up to Callaway. Cross court right Frederick. Free throw stripe is Bonnenbluff. Turning and looking. To Kipfer. To Bonnenbluff. To Callaway. To Frederick. With four, drives lane. Floater in the lane. Strong. Off the mark. Rebound. Langbard. Half court shot. Won't go, and we're headed to the fourth. Play center leads 34-21, headed to the final period when we come back. When it comes to your mortgage, are you looking for For low low rates? rates? Uh Uh-huh. Are you looking for high High savings? savings? Yeah. United Bank and Trust has what you're looking for when it comes to refinancing. Low rates, helpful staff, and convenience. Visit their online mortgage center at www.ubankonline.com or stop by any of their locations to get on your way to saving. Banking for your way of life. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. I was putting away merchandise when in walk. The name's Smart. Maxwell Smart. It's a pleasure to meet a world-renowned spy such as yourself. How can I help you? I'm setting up my international spy headquarters, and I need a chair. Well, right now we have the best selection of office chairs from the Laurel Leather Highback Chair for $298 to the Laurel Sandwich Seat Mesh Midback Chair for $156. We've got chairs for every body and every budget. This is your lucky day. Luck has nothing to do with it. It's skill, I tell you. Pure skill that led me to Central Office Service and Supply in Clay Center. Headed to the final period, 34-21. Play center, Tigers with the lead over the Chapman Lady Irish. Bill Casper along with studio engineer Bernie Fancella on this Friday night. Chapman will have possession. Abby Sweet attempting to inbound. Now does get it in to Langbar. She's going to drive from 10 feet out. Pops good. Macy Langbar has lit it up the second half. 
and it's 34-23. Langvard playing with four fouls. Sat most of that first half. Galloway now, free throw stripe, left wing three ball, right Frederick won't go, rebound Langvard, she's going to be fouled by Lauren Lane. 15 points from Langvard, 11 of those have come in the second half. Nine in that third period. And now she'll step back to the line with a chance to cut this to nine. Play center led by 17. Free throw up and down. Ten point game, 34 24. Second free throw up and down, and we've got a nine point ball game with seven and a half minutes left in the game, 34 25. All right, Frederick brings it down. Now Chapman will go man to man. Bon and Bluff, right wing. Back to right, Frederick. She'll bring it top of the key. To Hamill, guarded by Weiss. Hamill turns around in the lane. Weiss all over her. No call. Underneath feed. Bon and Bluff, two lane. Good. Nice work by the Lady Tigers of working that basketball. It's an 11 point lead, 36 25. Langbart now on Callaway. Cross court. She goes. Inside, to Loy loses the ball. Bon and Bluff's out of there with it. Down to Hamill, nearly lost it. Hamill able to recover and hands it to right. Frederick and Coach Jeff Edwards with a great timeout. 6.47 left in the game. Play center lead 36-25 when we come back. Farmway Co-op, your partner in growth. Over a century of serving you. The deli department at Ray's Apple Market has something that will go with everything. Whether you're looking for a basic everyday Swiss to serve with grapes and crackers or the Cajun style turkey to create that perfect sandwich, you'll get it at Ray's Apple Market. Deli meats, cheeses, and Rock House signature salads are always fresh and delicious to serve up the way you want. Customers appreciate the variety, the quality, and the remarkable flavor of the deli selection at Ray's Apple Market. 6.47 6.47 left in the ball game. Play center led by 17. They now lead by 11. Chapman had cut it to 9. Jeff Edwards with a timeout as Chapman has come out in a man-to-man and really caused some issues for play center. Now, they haven't seen it the whole game. It's been a zone from Chapman, so the Lady Tigers have had to adjust a little bit. Lauren Lane now guarded by Langbart. She'll go left side to Callaway. Rebecca Thomas all over her. Lane now to Bonnebluff on the right wing. Bonnebluff looking inside. Not much there. She'll go back up top to right Frederick. Out of Bonnebluff. Turns at the top of the key. Looking inside. Hamill loses her dribble but does recover. Gets it to right Frederick. She's going to bring it back out top. What a nice job by Courtney Hamill to recover. And right Frederick with the presence of mind to bring it back out. Hamill now has to Right, but she's going to be fouled by Brianna Loy. That may be five. Man, no, that is four on Loy. And Loy wanting an explanation, and ref's kind enough to give it. A lot of times they won't do that, but he does explain the call to Loy. Free throw from Hamill is good. Second one on the way from Hamill. Good. Hamill with the trouble from the strike in that first half, but now's the time to make up for it as play center's gone back on top by 13. Chapman had cut it to 9. 38-25 with six minutes left of the ball game. Weiss, right wing, thought about three, but right Frederick out on her quickly. Back to Langford. She wants three. Now going to beat. 
too wide. That's going to be knocked away by Rice Frederick. Frederick brings it down herself. Good defense by Allie Rice Frederick. Just five points in the game. If you got a point every time you play good defense, you'd have about 30. Now Callaway fed in the lane. Won't go. Shot strong. Rebound is going to be fought for. Oh, my. They are all over Savannah Kipper. No call. Can't get her shot to go back up. And Chapman comes out of there with it. Now a three ball left baseline from Weiss. That won't go. Rebound to Bonnenblus. Weiss. Slap at Bonnenblus. No call. Five minutes. 505 left in the ball game. 38-25. Lady Tigers with the lead. Very physical game. Now feed underneath. Bottom bluff to Hamill. Can't get it to go. That's up strong. Rebound to the Irish. Rebecca Thomas will bring it down. Langbart now on the left wing. Guarded by Callaway. Langbart drives. Brad Callaway has that ball slapped out of there by Caitlin Bottom bluff. Nice play. By the senior, Rice Frederick will end up with it. Oh, what a defensive play by Caitlin Bonnenblatt on Macy Langbart. Langbart has played this entire, almost the entire second half with four fouls. Give her credit. Give Coach Nick Evans credit for rolling the dice and making it work. Allie Rice Frederick now underneath, and a charge is going to be called, and the reason they're calling that, Allie Rice Frederick quickly looking over at the bench, but when you leave, when you lower your shoulder... Or lead with the forearm, they're generally going to call the charge. So Allie Wright Frederick's going to come out with four. Addie Mullen will come back in, and that's what Allie Wright Frederick did: is just lowered her shoulder, knowing she was going to get contact. And now Coach Jeff Edwards is explaining it to her. Now Chapman loses the dribble. There's Addie Mullen with it. She drives down quickly. Hipper left side lay in. Yes. Savannah Kipper on the feed from Addie Bullen with 4.03 left. Play center's gone back up 15, and Coach Jeff Edwards wants the timeout. 4.03 left in the ballgame, 40-25. Lady Tigers with the lead when we come back. Twin Valley proudly announces our new Pulse Gigabit Internet, available now in Clay Center. Equal to 1,000 megabits per second, our new speeds can support all your devices, all at the same time. Stream movies, download content, surf the web, and more. No buffering and no waiting. So what are you waiting for? New customers who call today get two months free internet service. Visit TwinValley.net or give us a call at 800-515-3311. Twin Valley Pulse. Your life connected. Central Valley Ag, Pro-Edge Risk Management for Grain Producers, year-round planning. We work one-on-one with producers to help them build and devise marketing plans with your own consultant, very specific to your operation. CVA Pro-Edge Sales Manager Luke Beckman factors in all variables. Land cost, what's our investment in fertility, and what does the market present as far as opportunities. Full service, agronomy, supplies, and Pro-Edge marketing. Contact Central Valley Ag. Where the customer comes first. Well, Coach Jeff Edwards wanting a timeout. I think he wanted to change the personnel out and maybe get a little better defense set up. Does it now. Langbart's going to drive down. Nearly took steps and now has to take away by Callaway. Here comes Sid down forward, loses the dribble, has it taken away by Chapman, but gets it back somehow and gets it out to Addie Mullen. And now Mullen will walk it out and reset. Mullen now with Loy all over her. Gets some help from Bonnenblatt now top of the key. Left wing to Kipper. She'll walk it back up top of the key with three and a half left. Oh, good job by Sid Calloway to get that back after a mistake. Courtney Hamill at the stripe. Thought about it. No, she's going to kick it back to Kipper. Kipper in the lane. Skip pass left side. Calloway for two. No, won't go. Good rebound by Bonnenblatt. She'll beat Calloway again. That won't go. Rebound Langbart. Here comes Chapman. Langbart in the lane, won't go, and she's going to be fouled, and that's on Kipper. So Macy Langbart, not the one you want to foul, really at any time, will go to the line shooting two. Free throw up and out. So Langbart will have one more. Kipper's picked up her second. Lauren Lane set to come in for the Tigers. 
second free throw up, and that one out. Rebounds to Vanna Kipfer. Outlet to Bonham Bluff, back to Kipfer. Still bring it across. Wants to go right, now does to Callaway. Back up top to Mullen. The Bonham Bluff. She'll turn, look. Top the key. Now she'll go back right to Kipfer, who will walk it back up. Left wing Mullen looking inside to Hamill. Bounce pass inside to Hamill. She's bugged in there. No call. Chapman comes out of there with it. It's Langbard. She's going to drive all the way to the other end of the court. It's going to be called, and that's fine. Addie Mullen set up in there, and Macy Langbard is done. Now, keep in mind that she played nearly that entire second half with four fouls and for 13 points. She'll leave the game with five fouls and 17 on the night. But a great job by the freshman, Addie Mullen, setting up in there, knowing that Macy Langbar was coming in. The 228 left is 40-25. Skip pass, Hamill, Lane, turn around, jumper in the lane, and one. Lauren Lane picks up her 10th point and is looking for number 11 and gets it. Forty-three twenty-five. as Kate Bonnebluff comes out, probably done. The lead with four points. Megan Robbins in and now foul is going to be called Probably Courtney Hamill. That will be on Courtney Hamill. That's going to send Rebecca Thomas to the line, shooting two as both teams in the double bonus. Haley Jones set to come in. Free throw up and down. Thomas with a high arcing free throw. And Courtney Hamill is going to take a seat. She's going to leave with nine points, but again, her defense has been tremendous. But Coach Nick Evans still in the ear of this near side official. They're really, really being patient with him as Thomas hits both. 43-27, full court press on from the Irish. Play center having a little trouble. Now Savannah Kipfer gets it across. A little help from Megan Robin. Jones now at the top of the key. Has it knocked away, loose in the lane. Chapman comes up with it. Down court to Weiss, a minute 57. Weiss drives around, falling in the lane. Floater good. Darian Weiss will pick up her seventh. Haley Jones will pick up her first foul. Should be 43-29, it is. Weiss will have a chance at one. Free throw up and down. Darian Weiss, just her eighth point on the night, 43-30. Clay center leads with a minute 54. And coming up, we'll have Tiger Boys getting set. The Rockies interview with Coach Kelly Williams. Addie Mullen all the way down. She's going to be shoved and Rebecca Thomas just, that was, Rebecca Thomas just trying to pick up her fifth foul. That was just inexplicable. That's going to send Addie Mullen to the line shooting two. And Rebecca Thomas just, not a happy girl. Get the impression she was just done for the night. So Addie Mullen. Goes to the line, looking to pick up her first point. It's the first one. One more for the freshman. Up and down. Mullen hits both. Lead goes back to 15, 45-30 with a minute 45. White down for it quickly. Goes left wing to Anderson. Top of the key now, Natalie Harris in the game. Underneath speed. Oh, good look. Into Darian White and Coach Nick Evans. 
won the timeout. 45-32, minute and a half left in the ball game when we come back. Are you considering buying or building a new home in the near future? Whatever the reason, there is no better time to make a change than now. The low interest rates of today won't last forever, and the large selection of affordable homes can help turn your dream into a reality. This is Keith Blake with Union State Bank. We have a variety of loan packages available, so let Nathan, Brandon, or myself help you get pre-qualified for the home of your dreams. Give us a call or stop in today to see us. Union State Bank, member FDIC, and equal housing lender. A message from Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement in Concordia. Brutal winter days will be here sooner than you think. Is your home properly insulated to keep the cold outside and keep your energy bills affordable? If not, Geisler Roofing offers several different solutions, including spray foam insulation. At Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement, we've got you covered. Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement, we've got you covered. 34 left in the ball game. Play center leads 45-32. That is still fighting as Coach Nick Evans with a full timeout. Lauren Lane will inbound for the Lady Tigers. Looking now, baseball pass down court to Addie Mullen. Play in by Mullen up and down. And Mullen did a great job just to recover that pass thrown way out in front of her, but Addie with a lot of speed, able to recover, set, and shoot. 47-32. Weiss, top of the key, looking for three, can't get it. Instead, will take a 20-footer, good. Darian Weiss with two more. Inbound to Mullen. Full score press on from Chapman. One minute left in the game. Kipper, beating Robin. To Jones in the lane, shot up by Jones, won't go, but she's going to be fouled. A nice job by Megan Robbins. Kind of a turnaround, no look pass from senior to senior, and Haley Jones just absolutely hammered. So Jones at the line shooting two, first free throw up, and won't go. Jones with one more, 55 seconds left, it's 47 34. Robbins, Lane, Jones, Mullen, and Kipfer in the ballgame for the Tigers. Jones free throw strong, and that'll go out of bounds to Chapman. Inbounds to Weiss. Down court quickly to Harris. Top of the key, sweet for three, strong. Rebound, Mullen. Mullen comes out of there with it, man. If you're going to foul, foul. And Lindsey Anderson just fouled Addie Mullen. So Mullen, with four points in the ball game, will shoot two. First one up and down. One more from Mullen. And that's short, ball loose, and Sweet comes out of there with it. Down to 38 seconds. Driving on the baseline, Brianna Loy, that won't go. Guess who? Addie Mullen. Mullen now gets it across the timeline to Lane to Kipper, and Kipper's going to get mugged. 48 34, it's a 14 point play center. Lady Tiger lead with 24 seconds left, and Savannah Kipfer will go to the line. Nine points for the senior. Free throw up and good. Savannah Kipfer played very well tonight. One more for Kipfer, and that's short. Battle. For the rebound is Robin Sweet. Sweet will win that one. White loses her dribble. No travel call. Well, underneath pass on a loose ball from Anderson for White, and that'll go up and down. And now Kipfer is going to be caught in the corner, and she's going to be fouled. And with five seconds left. 
Darian Wise will pick up her fourth, and Savannah Kiffer back to the line, shooting two. 49-36, Clay Center is going to go to 7-0. and 4-0 and in league play, and Savannah Kiffer picks up her 11th point. One more on the way for the senior, and good. Five seconds left. The play center will be content to let Chapman come down. They'll back off, and now a double dribble is going to be called on Chapman right at the buzzer, and the officials are going to let that go. 51-36 is your final. Play center Lady Tigers have gone to 7-0. and We'll bring you back, wrap it up, get ready for boys pregame right after this. What's next in weed technology control? Oldie Seed now offers Roundup Ready 2 Extend Soybeans, the newest solution for weed control. Roundup Ready 2 Extend Soybeans is an advanced soybean treatment product that will provide tolerance to dicamba and glyphosate. If you've been battling hard to control weeds in your fields, worry no more. This product is built on the high yielding genuity Roundup Ready 2 yield trait, and it is available today from Oldie Seed. Get more than propane when Propane Central delivers. Get a free gas system check, payment plans to fit any budget, and flexible delivery options. You can also earn free gas with their generous customer referral program. Just another way, Propane Central offers the best value in propane. Fifty-one thirty-six is your final. Play center Lady Tigers move to seven and zero. They're four and zero in the NCKL. Let's give you a look at scoring. For Chapman, they were led by Macy Langbart. She had seventeen on the night. It was Darian Weiss with fourteen, and that was about it. Four for Rebecca Thomas and a point for Brianna Loy. Now Macy Langbart played much of that second half with four fouls. She scored thirteen of those seventeen in that second half. For the Clay Center Lady Tigers, very well balanced once again. They were led by Savannah Kipfer. She had 12. Lauren Lane with 11. Courtney Hamill with 9. 6 for Sid Calloway. 5 from Addie Mullen and Allie Wright Frederick. And 2 from Caitlin Bonnenbluff. Your final score, 51-36. Clay Center Lady Tigers move to 7-0. Captain Irish fall to 2-5. and five. Next up for the Lady Tigers, a home game Tuesday night against Minneapolis. Well, we're getting set for Clay Center Tiger Boys basketball. We'll get you a break and then a look into Tiger pregame coming up. 